Hello everyone! This is Chef Good Choice. Hello, my name is Good Choice. The choice of Mr. S. Good Choice! Today, I'm gonna react to one of famous YouTubers who is also my favorite, Joshua Westman. Actually, I already reacted to this guy before, the Korean fried chicken one. Joshua, really? No. Your quippy skin. If you want to watch the video, please click here. And today, because I want to give him one more chance, one more chance. So I'm going to react to this video again, Korean style sandwich. And maybe I make my own version as well. So let's start. That, let's take a quick look at our secondary version, the bulgogi style pork belly sandwich. What is bulgogi? The bulgogi style bulgogi. Doesn't come out. All I can see is this bulgogi. Ah, maybe he mean bulgogi, not bulgogi. Wondering why this bulgogi. Ah, another cheap program of Korean English. Sorry guys, but here is English class for native English speaker. In Korea, when you write some Korean name in English, G doesn't sound like G. It's always G or G, not G. For example. This word should sound like bulgogi, not bulgogi. But somehow, in English, because of its weird language rules, G has two different sounds. Like this is giraffe, George, but this is golden and grand. Why? And this is gi, but GH usually silent, like night and height, right? So gi supposed to sound like e, right? Why? I'm pretty sure that someone who created the English language was so drunken or so high and making all these weird rules. Anyway, so this is bulgogi, not bulgogi. Ah, and in Korea, no one pronounces kimchi as kimchi. We put K because of this G problem. All I know, the kimchi is my favorite actress, Kimberly Chi. By the way, you care about people in North Carolina so much? First start with one can of tomatoes. That's it. That's a joke. I'm kidding. All right, everybody say calm. All right, woo. Josh is a... Oh, God. But pronounce bulgogi like that? You naughty naughty. You need to talk to my grandma. Harmony! Harmony! What the hell? Who said bulgogi? Get two pounds or 450 grams of whole skinless pork belly. Pork Cut that skin? into half inch thick That's strips. Great. Place all that into a bowl. In Korea, we usually use pork belly or four quarter, aka pork shoulder. Really nice. Then in a blender, add a three inch knob ginger. of peeled ginger, two to three Shallot. peeled shallots, one Asian pear, Asian Asian pear. seven cloves nice. of garlic, half a cup or 125 grams Gochujang. of gochujang, Go one yes. tablespoon or seven grams of gochugaru, gochugaru. two teaspoons yes. or five grams of toasted sesame, sesame oil. oil, one tablespoon or 15 milliliters of sweet soy sauce, soy sauce. and two tablespoons and or 30 sauce. milliliters of dark soy sauce. And finally, two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of mirin. Then just blend that on high speed until completely smooth. But in Korea, there is no sweet soy sauce or dark soy sauce. We got different one. And pear is really important for this sauce. With pour your gochujang sauce all over your sliced pork belly, toss to coat thoroughly, and allow to marinate for 30 minutes in the fridge, but Sunny ideally it's overnight. Short. Now all you gotta do is either grill this bad boy until cooked through, which I actually recommend that because that would technically be the proper way to do it. But if you don't have a grill, you can toss yeah, it in the oven to 450 better. Fahrenheit for it's 15 to 20 Korean minutes grill. until cooked beautifully and lightly charred on the outside. Then let that cool slightly before assembly. Especially Korean grill is the best. But Joshua, you don't have it. Just using oven is okay. But this is Korean style food from about 5 million subscribers YouTuber. Dude, spend some money for your video. Korean barbecue grill is cheap. Or maybe because it's bulgogi. And during that time, you'll make your sandwich salad. In a medium-sized bowl, add daikon half a daikon, peeled and julienne, one English cucumber, julienne as well, mm -hmm. and two large carrots, peeled and julienne. One Chile. serrano chili, very okay. thinly sliced. Then to that, you're gonna add one teaspoon or four grams of granulated white sugar, two teaspoons or eight grams of kosher salt, and two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of unseasoned but rice that looks vinegar. Like Give that a nice toss by hand until thoroughly Bami coated, pickle. and that's your sando salad. You know Vietnamese sandwich on baguette with crispy pork, and there's pickle with coriander, radish, and carrot. What? Vietnamese? Yeah, that's the pickle for bami, not Korean. Shh, calm down. It's okay. Did you check the title? It's Korean style. 
not Korean Korean food. So as long as there's a word style, don't have to be perfect Korean recipe. And also, sandwich is not Korean food anyway. So he should put the style for the KF's video too. It's a magic word. Now, to assemble, sandwich. get some toasted buns, hit the bottom button oh, with a light mail. layer of poopy mayo, nice. not poopy mayo. If you want to know what it is and how to make it, please click here. A nice thick layer of as little or as much bulgogi pork as you want, but I, of course a, a nice layer is always good. A generous mound of your beautiful sando salad, and finally kicker. some fresh cilantro leaves to your taste. Yeah, that Korean and as usual, though. crown your I king told you, and observe. This is Vietnam style, not Korean. Vietnam is hard, not Korean. A style. A yeah, it looks nice. And delectable sandwich. But that is not Korean, Korean style. That's more like Korean, Vietnamese style sandwich. So from now, I will make ultimate Korean style sandwich using almost the same ingredient what Joshua used. Joshua, watch and learn. So what Joshua tried to make in the video is Dueji Gochujang Bulgogi sandwich, which is Korean spice pork stir fry or grilled. I think the sauce Joshua made is not bad. So I will keep the sauce recipe same. So as he did, I blend all the ingredients and mix it with the pork in the bowl. But I'm gonna use proper bulgogi cut. Dueji bulgogi cut from Korean butcher. I don't know which one you like more, but I'm using this cut because I want to make proper dueji bulgogi. Then in a blender, add a 3 inch knob of peeled ginger, 2-3 to three peeled shallots, 1 Asian pear, peeled and cheap, 7 cloves of garlic, half a cup or 125 grams of gochujang, 1 tablespoon or 7 grams of gochugaru, 2 teaspoons or 5 grams of toasted sesame oil, 1 tablespoon or 15 milliliters of sweet soy sauce, and 2 tablespoons or 30 milliliters of dark soy sauce, and finally, 2 tablespoons or 30 milliliters of mirin. Then just blend that on high speed until completely smooth. Pour your gochujang sauce all over your sliced pork belly, toss to coat thoroughly, and allow to marinate for 30 minutes in the fridge, but ideally overnight. While we're waiting for pork, we can prepare salad part. If you watch my Korean barbecue mukbang, you must see some best of items I prepare for Korean barbecue. Let me try with Korean version. The lettuce, pajari, the spring onion salad, and Korean barbecue sauce, samjang. And Pickled radish disc. So put the lettuce, pickled radish, dry edge one, leave of parsley, and Korean barbecue sauce. Pickled the radish disc and lettuce. First, let me make pickled the radish disc. Prepare some more sauce pot, add half cup of sugar, add half cup of vinegar, and boil until all the sugar dissolved. And add one cup of ice water. The ratio is one sugar, one vinegar, and two water. For radish disc, I usually use mandolin, but this time I'm gonna use spiralizer for better crunchy texture. Now, put the radish into the pot with the brine, leave it overnight like pork. Okay, so pork is ready. It's time to cook, but in real Korean way, not like oven. My grandma never used oven for bulgogi. Here, I prepare Korean barbecue grill, put on the fire medium high heat, cover with the oil really well, and put pork on. Sounds like heaven. The beautiful core of pig. <coughs> and some chopped spring onion for beautiful green color. Now, meat is ready. Let's make sauce. You have homemade kippy mayo. Yeah, but just mayo is boring. So I will make Korean barbecue sauce and mix with the mayo, aka samjang mayo. Into the bowl, 3 teaspoons of denjang, the Korean soy paste, 1 teaspoon of gochujang, the Korean chili paste, one teaspoon of minced garlic, one teaspoon of gochugaru, Korean chili powder, one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of sesame oil, and mix well. Now, this is Korean barbecue sauce, aka samjang. Add a quarter cup of mayo and mix well again. Now, my version of Korean barbecue sauce aioli is ready, aka samjang mayo. Meat is ready, 
sauce is ready, and vegetable is ready. Let's assemble sandwich. Toast brioche bun with the butter, and put green lettuce on the bottom. Put some bulgogi, pick the radish, under the lid, spoonful of samjang meal. The Korean Korean style sandwich is ready using Joshua's sauce recipe. It's a bit different with Joshua's version because I use real Korean barbecue style called Sam. If you watch my Korean barbecue mukbang, you must know about it. And also, Google food know about it too. What I like to do is normally put and make a, like a little beef taco. So, let me try. Mm. This is Korean Korean style. For sure. Especially all the ingredients balance each other really well. But Joshua's sauce recipe tastes really nice. Good job, Joshua. <laughs> Except he said bulgogi, not bulgogi. Korean bulgogi sandwich. Bulgogi pork belly. Korean bulgogi sandwich. The bulgogi style. Korean bulgogi sandwich. Bulgogi pork as you want. Korean bulgogi sandwich. Bulgogi sando. <laughs> The bulgogi style pork belly sandwich. Today, I react to Joshua's video and fix the recipe a little bit, which was Korean Vietnamese style sandwich to Korean Korean style sandwich. I wish Joshua watched my video and learned a little bit. By the way, thank you for watching. I'm Chef Good Choice and see you in different video. Have a nice day and bye bye.